Okay, so the conference agent is focused at the moment on the Google Cloud Next London event, which is here. And the event is over two days, 3rd of May and 4th of May, looking at the uh, schedule here. And as many conferences, there are multiple uh, tracks with sessions going on in parallel. And of course, you know, some serial sessions, a keynote, for example. So what I've done is I've, I've brought across the data from here into a spreadsheet. As I've done that, I've also codified the topics. So we've got um, what day the conference is on, first day or the second day, start and end time, what type of session it is, the location, which is useful for calculating, um, or say not only where it is, but also calculating um, you know, whether, whether a session is next or not, because next is relative to you know, where things are. Uh, we've got speakers, we've got a comma separated list of uh, topics, which will uh, be relevant shortly, and we've got the title. So the first thing that I did was to take the topics and create some synonyms for them and then uh, bring those across into a separate sheet with, uh, you know, splitting on the commas. So I can export that as CSV and load it uh, into API AI, into the topic entity that I've created. And so we get all these nice uh, topics and synonyms here, which I can therefore use to, to recognize what people are asking for. Okay. We've got a number of intents as well. So what else have we got in the spreadsheet? We've got um, a number of generated or uh, computed uh, fields to, these are the ones I'm signifying in gray here. So we've got a, an actual date time for start and end for each of the sessions. We've got how long the session is. And also, interestingly, uh, there's a balance between, you know, where do you do which part of the computation? So here I've decided, well, it's quite easy to work out, you know, a spoken version of that. So I'm going to do it in the spreadsheet itself. Uh, there's a number of areas where uh, the, the action is serviced from. There's the cloud function that actually handles the uh, action calls. And that calls in turn um, some app script, which is here, which it, it's, it's exposing, it's exposed as a web app. And uh, that web app handles a GET request, and there are different different parts to the API, effectively, uh, that then call functions to go and read this spreadsheet data and do some calculations as well. But some of the calculations, some of the computations, are done actually in the spreadsheet itself. Why not? Um, I've got three columns here, past, now, and potential next, which help me calculate uh, if a session's in the past. Of course, that's, it's not relevant to tell the person about the session if it's already uh, been uh, already been and gone. We can also see if a session is uh, happening right now. And also we can use this to, to, to uh, just to signify to, to me that this is potentially a next session. You know, there's more to it than that. For example, I've decided that next means uh, not only is it today and not in the past and not going on right now, but also have the earliest start time by location. Anyway, more on that uh, perhaps another time. I've also got an overview sheet with more general high-level information, like the title of the event and the venue and so on. And we've got some calculated fields, uh, you know, when it starts and things like, well, we're splitting the day and the month off. So we can, rather than say from the 3rd of May to the 4th of May, we can say something more human-like from the 3rd to the 4th of May and so on. So if we um, have a go at uh, invoking it, so talk to... Uh, cloud, oops, next London. What I'll do as well is I'll make this window slightly smaller. Over here, I've got the code, and I'm also running it not only as a cloud function, but I've got running it locally here, and I've got uh, via ngrok, uh, you know, I'm punching a hole out to the uh, to the web so that actually the fulfilment of well, this particular demo is being done by this exact code here. So we can see the logs and we can see things happening. Okay, so we've got a fulfillment pointing to my ngrokt uh, session down here. Okay, so let's go back to the intents. So we can see, uh, I can tell you about the Cloud Next uh, London event, et cetera, et cetera, over two days. Uh, now, one of the nice things about the spreadsheet is that I can control when the session uh, when the session start and when the conference starts for testing purposes as well. Uh, you can see that some of the start times and end times are not quite right anyway, uh, deliberately, so I can test things here as well. So I can go to my config sheet and say, well, actually, it starts today on the 30th of April. Now, if we look at the sessions, we can see that some are happening right now, and, you know, there's one potential next one, 
uh, because that's the last one of that day. I can also extend the conference by a day by saying, well, these, these are on the third day. So all of a sudden we're saying it's, you know, it's three days long, but it's starting today. Okay, so if we say now, um, what's on right now, for example. So we can see the call has gone to via NGROC to my service here. Um, there are four sessions and so on. Uh, you can see that I'm using various contexts. And if we say, for example, um, uh, yeah, let's hear about the next one. Yes, please. Uh, the response is very fast. We're not calling our service API because I've, I've, I'm storing the, the data as to, as to what's, what's now in this particular context. Uh, just temporarily, of course, but that means that I'm, you know, I'm hammering, or the, the, the API would be hammered a lot less than it would be. So the context is really useful to store, you know, a reasonable amount of data. So uh, we've got that. So let's say, uh, what are the topics? And we've got 14 topics. Now note that uh, if we would have set the um, uh, start date to when it really starts, which is next week, we'd, we'd get more topics. But because um, a lot of these uh, are in the past, we're not counting the sessions uh, and the topics for those sessions in that list. So we get a list of uh, 14 topics here. Let's explore cloud functions, please. So now it's made a call. What it's done is, um, it's made a call to this again. It, what it's done is it's, it's cleared some contexts and it's telling us about the cloud functions uh, uh, topic. There's one session here. What about App Engine? One session about App Engine. How about um, Cloud Platform? There are three sessions, so we've got um, a context here, find by topic more next. You'll see this context used in the demo in the in the video, by the way, um, in the video from uh, Google uh, Next. So let's um, oh uh, let's hear ooh, let's hear about the next one. There we go. The next session. Uh, is called serverless computing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there we go. There's a very brief overview of the sorts of things uh, you can do. Are there any sessions coming up next? And that should bring us back um, probably this one here, the the App Engine one, rising, rising infinitely scalable um, and high something or other. Uh, here we go. Yep, yeah, rising infinitely scalable and high performance apps with App Engine. So having the data here uh, visible nice and easy to see and the, having the ability to um, change the data in the spreadsheet and have, have, have things like the, the duration calculated uh, in the spreadsheet is a lot easier because it, it helps you hone the persona, it helps you hone the language. Okay, there we go. Thanks for watching.